tell you, may I tell you. Silky voice of Empress Nelly. She's on this one with I Victory. And you know, so we don't know further delay. I'm gonna introduce my honorable brother to the eye, my honorable brother. My honorable brother, I Victory. I Victory. Yo, I just stars. Yeah, man, big up yourself. The general, if thanks for having me on the shore, would like to say good night to all our UK massive, all our African massive, our US massive, all our Caribbean people. Yo, wanna big up on yourself, you know. It's an honor to be here on the shore. Give thanks. Yes, my brother, yeah, great man. honor. Great, great Anna if you have the eye on the program. So let's say I know. Yes, I great Anna. Great Anna, my lord. Great Anna. Yes, I victory. Wow. What a lovely song, man. Yeah, um a year a- Yes, yeah, man. Give thanks to the Empress. Yes, give thanks to Empress Nelly. Bless up Empress Nelly every time. So let's see I know. Anna's our manners. Yeah, man. Yes, I. Absolutely. Lovely song, but you know, speaking of Empress Nelly, um, when I was speaking with Empress Nelly the other day, you know, Empress Nelly told me that you came out of retirement to to, to do this song, you know, with General. Yo. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> I mean, I was forced out of retirement. <laughs> When the Empress make a request, it's my obligation and duty to uh, respond accordingly. Absolutely. I have to do what we have to do still. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the idea. Lovely song. Lovely song. Lovely song. The inspiration. How the inspiration come yeah, about with, with, with the song? Well, inspiration came about um, just looking at our, our structure. In terms of in terms of family and and community, so the the, the song itself have different layers, you know. It's not just um, it's not just about love and relationships. It's also about our love for our roots and our culture. It, it, you can see in the in the artwork, uh, the artwork of uh, the cartoonish artwork of of the Empress Walden close to her heart a love pillow and on that love pillow it has africa upon it so it's a combination of different layers that drove the inspiration uh to come up with that song and let me also mention that she wrote that song uh, you see my piece is a little piece in there but mostly all the credit goes to the empress for that lovely tune man i'm a whoop you know a lot of people a lot of couples can have good, strong, healthy babies when they play that song, you know, brethren. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the I know. So that's the I love making song star. Yes, I absolutely. Yes, brother. Yeah, man, lovely song. Um, lovely song from um the item from um think what Black Star International me that send send him on the song. And um, from from then, you know, we've been we've been playing the song. You know what I mean? It's a lovely, lovely song. Yeah. We get we get, you know we get a a lovely um, vibration when we even play it. You know the reaction what we get from you know people who hear it and thing. You know we we, we we love that. You know so yeah, man, fantastic, fantastic. We do appreciate everything. I just stars, and you know she also loved the Chronix's original version. That was also part of the driver for that inspiration that we were just speaking about. Strength. Yes, I. Yeah, yes. man, because Kankin Sweet is a very powerful song as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, I. All right. Ah. I, Victory. Tell, tell me about, talk to me about the name. How, how the name come about? Yeah, Victory. Uh, it's about it's about you know a, a self understanding self and having knowledge of self and understanding that only you can plot 
that path to success and that path to victory. Rastafari. Right? The, the decision lies within us. Yeah? You see me? Yes, and sir. it's about choices. And as we mentioned, um, I think in the last discussion that we had, it's about the mindset. You have to have that mindset. What kind of mindset do you have? You understand? Is there a mindset that is to overcome all adversity? Because in overcoming adversity, one claims the victory. So I saw the, I saw the name, name come, come, you know, my brethren. And um, that is a positive outlook and a positive focus. You know them say, the only time you fail is when you stop trying. Yes. Yeah. So once you stop trying, you've automatically failed. True. So life is a journey where you have to be persistent and push on, regardless of what comes your way. You have to overcome and press and move forward. And in that, you get the victory. I victory. Powerful, 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 powerful. So, all right, um, tell me a little bit about yourself, my lad. You know, which part, you know, which part do I come from? Yes, I. Yeah, man, so, you know, African still by birth. West Africa, my people hail from. I was born in the UK, and that's why we, uh, when we linked up, we instantly clicked, because that's my second home. Left the UK as a teenager, little, little youth. Uh, I have to say, I had the privilege of traveling the world with my parents, um, and that brought insight and perspective. It gave me uh, the ability and the and 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 the need to broaden horizons and understand that it's a big world we live in. You know, unfortunately, so many people don't have the opportunity to be able to do that. It's a it's a it's a big it's a big world, you know, brethren. Yeah. And um, it feels like, you know, what helps today, today's society is all the interconnectivity that we do have. So for Uno, who are little children, it's always critical and it's always good to help them broaden their horizons. Uh, you, have, you, have, you have capabilities out there, such as the internet and other resources that you can still use to broaden those horizons if you're unable to travel and, and make it a, you know, make it a, make it a goal, make it a goal in life, right? Make it a goal in life to go somewhere, someplace, see something different, you know, and all of that helps understand that, 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 that fullness that, of the world that we live in and, and all the sorts of lovely people out here, all the sorts of lovely cultures we have out here. And uh, that is, that has been a blessing for me. In my tribe. Yes. Yeah. yeah, man, powerful. Yes, I. So they are, they are, um, they are is directly, they are right. They are, they are appearances from, from Africa and they are born in, in, in the UK. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Um, you know, and ended up in the US as a teenager. I uh, went to school. Yeah, in the, Uni in the United States, I did my college things and all them things here in Texas. So he's a, he's a native Texan also. So big up all Texas, massive Houston. My family in Houston, we think promotions. Yo, my man, Super Neil. Yo, Bobby Monk, I Ken, Ken Man. Yo, lots of love here and lots of family here, brethren. So we're local Houstonians as much as we are... Um, you know, other other residents or residents of other places also. It's a collective experience. Yeah, you take things from the different areas, and it makes you a much well, much more well-rounded person in your dealings. Yes, I for real, for real, true, true. Yeah, man. All right, for real. So they I they I they I um they I travel to Af they I travel back to Africa. Yeah man, yeah man, it's been a it's been a long time still. I think the early two thousands. Haven't been back for a while. And even the UK. Last time I was out there coming through Hunslow was back in twenty twelve. You know what I mean? So I have to I have to come back come back and, and hail up my, my new family. I just started speak up yourself, Wayne Rymer, the general. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, we've met so many people, and it's been a wonderful experience. Good people, good-hearted people, and that's what it takes, a collective effort by all of we, you know, yes, to, uh, to build something together. Uh, you know, it's always been a game of divide and conquer, and as long as you're divided, you can't build nothing back up. So True. the people that divided you don't intend to have you build anything. So it's incumbent upon we to build our things back again. And that's why the unity comes together. And there you know, man, there's a strength that you get when you're unified. You get me? True, true. So at that trod with that pun. Yes, I collective effort, you know? Collective security. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Um, I know. Uh, you know, the the I the I the, we did a talk offline and thing, and you know, the I did a, you know tell me about some things about about in England with the Brexit and thing. But we don't really want to talk about the yeah. Brexit, Zin. We <laughs> really want to talk about the Brexit. But um, what 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 the difference? Because you you grew up, you know, you partly grew up here. In in, in, yes. in in the UK and you know you still follow things. No, you're there in the in, in, in the US living. Now there's been over about a hundred and thirty um youths get murdered in the capital. You know, thus even yesterday another shooting and, and, and three three older yeah. suspect and thing. Zin. Yeah, come on. Really, really sad situation. Still, what, yeah. What, what are the contrasts um, between uh, uh, America now? Because America, you, 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 you find you will have um, white police killing, killing black people. Zin. But in 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 England now, yeah. you have is is black youths that killing black youths. It's not really so much white police killing. Um, black youths here you know what i mean yeah one yeah what what yeah. what what, what the yeah, i view yeah, upon part the whole um spectrum of the thing well you know i i think it all stems back to uh just a design you know it's a systemic thing it's inherent within the system this has been a method to control the population especially our population just been um it's just been deployed in different, using different tactics. Yeah, it's still the same thing because it end up in a lost one, it end up in a mother or a father or a brother or a sister weeping and crying and mourning over a lost one. Um, the situation is dire here, and I have to tell you that it's uh, gotten exponentially worse ever since we changed leadership and all all the racism and all, all all the hatred is bubbling back to the surface you know at the end of the day all i want is to you know leave people alone leave people things alone you know deal with people fairly it's almost like uh, uh an in inhumane type of treatment you know even with the the youths them in woolwich you know the youths them in you know murder mash up each other it, it, it stems from a place of self of hatred because the colonists and invaders and imperialists that was a weapon they deployed upon the continent of Africa because that's the only way they could take control you get me they had to make sure that those systems and those mechanisms were in place where you can't come together you automatically hate each other uh, but there's also a part of self responsibility that we have to take there's right. one thing when you cannot by yourself change the system but there's also a part that you have to play in having that self responsibility to love each other to not see your brother as the enemy because as certain things go brethren you see me it's, yes, it's, I... it's, it's something that we have to get rid of. It's a cancer in our community, brethren. See, your cancer, we need to get rid of. I mean, I tell you, as I say, it's, 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 a, 
You know, it's an epidemic, man. I tell her. Yeah, it, it, it really needs to get rid yeah, of man. But, um, you know, it, as I say, it's a, it's a systematic thing. It's all a, so a, a syndrome, Zane, which yes. Willie yeah, Lynch man. did put in place. You know what I mean? You know, so... Abs- absolutely, man. Absolutely. And that things, them things have taken a life of their own. They have, you know, so the system, the Willie Lynch lynch letter and the will lynch things put in place and now have taken a life on their own and that is up to us to stop that we have to stop that can't let will lynch mentality you can't let the will lynch ideology and mentality continue to fester this violence and this self-hatred that a lot of our people have and that is the truth i mean you can't come on the show and lie to you, my brethren. I'm a very, very outspoken person, even though I like to keep some of my, some of my thoughts to myself, you know. But um, truth be spoken, right. yes, sir. We, well, we, we we need uh, yeah, man. A the mindset a, program, a, you know. So you know they are. Yes, I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, free, you freely, mean? freely, freely express yourself, as long as. As long as they're not speaking yeah. out them type of, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, yeah, man. All right. Because, all right, Africa now. When I, when I, when, when I look on Africa, for instance, now, you know. Yes, my general, more of one strength. Rastafari. When I look on Africa, saying Africa. Yeah. Africa has been the breadbasket zine for the whole for the whole world. Right? And Absolutely. No, it's like, you know, Africa has been through a purge in a sense it's been through um that, that, that colonial um that colonial thing. And also um, you know, the sub Saharan um trans um sub Saharan trading zine which is still active today. No, yes. when we look, we 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 see um we see the Chinese um very active in 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 Africa, you know, very active and you know, a lot of people say um the Chinese are doing a lot of good, yeah, and um some of the some of some of the some of the some of the bad things that you see is um is just some um, propaganda and 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 and, and people are being paid by the US and these things and where well, you know, I I, I not spreading up bad propaganda upon um upon China and US not pay me nothing. Right? But what are the I yes. view upon the whole China thing in Africa? Where your fees? Your fees are them them dead for, for the upliftment of Africa? unfortunately not for the most part. You know, it's all about the pillaging and the raping and the looting. It's always been that, and it still is that today. So them there, them come in for resources, but it's it's like a wolf in a sheep clothing operation. You see me, and, and that is up to our African government, who's entering into all kinds of uh, contracts and negotiations with the Chinese um, to bring to bring into play some technology advancement and some infrastructure. But me still feel, say, we have the resources, we have the money, we have endowed in that continent. But as you understand, and, and, and this is something that you know, we also have a lot of corrupt governments, right? And because of this corrupt government, you're shipping countries' money overseas. You're buying three, four, five mansions in different European countries, and then you're taking loans from the Chinese. And then that nothing is free, you know, brethren. Mm-hmm. Nothing is free. There's some. There's something that the Chinese will have to ask for in return. And the worst part is uh, that most of the people don't have a say. In these sort of negotiations that go on at the higher government, so what they get is what the government agrees to. And when things go south, 
then the Chinese come in and start to take properties and start to take this and take the other things. So it's it's always been about taking brethren. So I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not big fan of them things, you know, brethren. I think we have the resources and the capabilities to build our own things. And that's the approach that we need to take. Well, Everything as you mentioned is there. Everything is there. Um, we are From five gold to oil to diamonds to uranium. Everything is there, my brethren. We have five more minutes to leave on the program, Zin. We have five. We are well. We have five more minutes to leave out the conversation. And you know, is this is a mindset program, and you know, it's just true. We strap for time. You know, we're gonna have to yes. do this again. You know, we're gonna have to do this again. Most, so last year, I know. Yeah, mom. Most but, definitely. You know, that it, we it, it can go. Yes, you said something a while ago. You said something a while ago um, about corruption and things. Yeah. Um, what me what 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 me notice is is, is this. Um, when you hear the word corruption, you know it's, it it always linked to Africa. It's always um um African politicians is always the corrupt ones you know what i mean but you never really yeah. hear um any of the democrats are are these type of people being corrupted you know it, it's always the african that is corrupted yeah man because you know mo most time is blatant versus covert so in all, the, all these other democracies in the west it's covert them do the man them do, move their money and do their and the corruption and move their things and steal and and you never because you have to understand who I control the media. So now why I highlight and bring into the public sphere that level of corruption because you know the adverse effect it would have. But it's it's fine and it's dandy and it's okay when you highlight that uh, corruption in a place like Africa. Yeah, you, you see me. There, there, there's so many more corrupt things going on in the West, brethren, and you see some of these things every day. You know, you, you see me. So so it's again, you have to look back to who controls the media because who controls the media controls the news. Who controls the media controls the content. Who controls the media controls the propaganda. Yes, I. And most of it is most of it is propaganda. Me and you know that. But for for us and our people in Africa, we have to do better. We must do better. Now you can't have you can't have all the resources. But, but there's no way of building schools, building roads, bridges, infrastructure. You see me. So those are some things that has to be brought to light and have to pay attention to because we're fighting for our continent. We're fighting for our land. So we're not to do what they might do in the West, you know, brethren. And that's why we have, to, we have to do better. And our leaders and governments have to do better. And we have to hold them responsible and make sure they're doing better. You know, one thing we say, you know, don't Africa pick apart, not East, South, West. If I was to be down there, I probably wouldn't survive. And the reason is they wouldn't like me. And the reason they wouldn't like me is because I would clean house. I, everyone, I guess everyone's getting fired and we're starting over. We have to rebuild the government in the right way. And the man there, yeah, you, you get threatened. feel threatened and, and you, take, you, take, uh, you take actions uh, to make sure that doesn't happen. So situation where you have to definitely um look at it from the right perspective yes i definitely That's enough resources my brethren over over here in america you have the you, know, you have countries taking loans from the chinese africans in america put about 33 plus billion dollars into this american economy every year that is a way bigger GDP than most countries or third world or most developing countries. That is a huge GDP. 
and if our things were together here and in the UK and in the Caribbean, we can fund some of these activities to help our brethren and sisters in Africa and build that partnership. And if you want citizenship, you can get it. If you want South Africa, you get it. If you want Kenya citizenship, come home, my son. You see me? And we all can right. fund them things, man. You don't need, you don't need no Chinese money, brethren. So, all right, hold yeah, on it, hold on it, hold on it. Things. <laughs> hold on it, I victory because they are, they are, they are go too fast. Hold on, hold on, you go too fast. Wait, <laughs> wait. You're going a bit too fast. Then wait, because they are touch okay. on some things you now. You yes, see, <laughs> um, in terms, uh, watch you now, in terms of the, 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 the immigration and, 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 and um, citizenship, see, that is important. That is important because um, we still see a lot of ones said we have to get visa to go in a, a lot of African countries, see, and yeah. we, we, we see Ghana is making a, a, a big change towards that um coming 2019 you know yes where i think you know if 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 you're in if you know if you're living in ghana for a certain um period of time you you know you automatically you know be classed as 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 as, as a citizen zin i don't know about going and coming you know for people who is going and coming and yeah. these things yeah but that yeah. that I think that 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 is a major um importance, you know, because people out here in the diaspora we we we, we um agitate for the redemption of um you know re repatriation and um emancipation and compensation. Absolutely. Sin? Yeah man. Yes I so repatriation repatriation we want to go home and you know we have to reach that place within ourselves of self and then to make that physical tran you know transition you know yes but I. the borders need to free up what are they view yeah man as they are they are still but you know but absolutely absolutely man i i agree 100 percent because it has to be a uh, you know, it has to be a similar system to what we're going to do with the EU. So make it the AU, the African Union. There should be no borders. You're on the continent. You should be free to travel and do your karma and do your uh, trade and, and do your uh, and do your, your uh, commerce between, uh, you know, neighboring countries and, 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 and the flow of goods. So... But uh, may, I, may, also, may I talk about people? May I talk about people now who is in the diaspora, like people coming from all of Trinidad and Tobago, you know, who you know the desire uh, is to is to reach so back to, right to, to, to. Yeah, yeah, man. So that should be a, that should be a uh, that should be a, a program or 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 some kind of, some kind of scheme for returning Africans. A children of returning Africans, because that's what, what that is. L the continent, when when a lot of the slavery happened, a lot of people were stolen, and and I have to I have to keep things one hundred percent. Hundred percent collaborators amongst our people. There was there was also some collaboration amongst our people, and sell us out. You see me? So there should be. The African countries and the governments should put their heads together and come up with a, a, a type of program, program for anyone in the diaspora, from the UK to the Caribbean to, to, the, to the US, to Canada, you name it. Wherever you're there, you want to go home, there should be something in place to be able to accommodate that. And that's how I feel about that. Rastafari, yes I, yeah man, because people, you know, enough yeah, people, man. you know, de 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 desire that move, you know, enough people desire that move. Yes. Even within yeah, um, yeah, within Rastafari, and even outside of Rastafari, because you have enough people who is um, Pan-African, they are not Rastafari, but, the, you know, the, the mindset is, yeah. is, is towards Africa, you know, returning home, you uh, know. Ab ab absolutely, man, you know, Shashamani land. 
You know, we had that. Even Ghana had a scheme of the sort where I think it was a three-year deal. So if you come and you you can, I think, be there for three years, um, you can get some some things in terms of land and some things. It was it's been a long time since I looked into that scheme, but I don't know as you mentioned if it's some something similar coming back in 2019 or not. But as you know. Um, what happened in Ethiopia with his imperial majesty, right? That's the sort of schemes that all the African nations should be looking at. Yes. That we come, Thank you. That we come, with, we come with resources, man. We come with expertise. There's a lot of us in the diaspora that are professionals. True. You name it, from doctors to architects to engineers. You see me? True, true. To, true, to, true. To, You're to, right. um, to, to performing artists to actors in the music industry and the act. There's so much all capability fields. that we have in, the, in all fields, my brethren. All and industries. We can, we can bring some good things back home and, and, and be able to share those, those, uh, share those ideas and build something even greater, partnering up with our brethren and our sister in Africa, man. So that may I look. So may I look on that. So let's see, I know, real talk. Real talk. Real talk. Yeah, man. I tell her. And that's how it's supposed to be, you know. You know, you know, we you know, we have to find that within ourselves and you know, these type of reasoning, these type of reasoning need, you know, that people can really look into themselves. You know what I mean? And know say, yo, yeah, you know, the people yes, sir. because here what, this is the reality, you know. You see, if Africa within itself don't set a certain way, um, towards um, the Africans out here, even though Africa is set the way that it's supposed to support the Africans, them the Africans in the diaspora, because that is why the OAU was formed. Absolutely, the organization of African unity. Absolutely, man. Yes. Right. So. Yes. That organization supposed to be fully active in aiding the Africans them out here in the diaspora and also making sure say the virgin them at home is fully you know because that's what that's what the organization is there for you know that Absolutely. is what that is that is what it is there for. You know, it's Europe that is copying our thing, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Now we're hitting the sweet spot. Absolutely. You're 100% correct. Europe is copying our thing. 100% correct. Yeah, man. Yeah. You see it, so... Yeah, man. So, you know... But you see... So we have to, um, we have to get... Rid yeah, go ahead. Ah, <laughs> yeah, but they see how um Europe, you see how them them they, they 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 do their thing, you know. What I mean, they're all together in it, you know. They're all together, and you know, they 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 strengthen each other, you know. Even when one want to leave, them 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 fight, you know, in 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 in, in the most weird. That don't leave, don't leave. Stay with us, cause you know, to, together is a strength, you know. Together they're stronger, don't it? It's yeah, man. So, so, there's, there's, a, there's strength in numbers, you know, and there's an economic strength in those numbers. Yes. So it's to your advantage. It's advantage. It's, it's advantageous from that perspective. To to be in 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 that unification. Not not just economic. Not just not, not just from an economic perspective, but think about think about things like uh, armed forces. You know, think about a unification of armed forces across Europe. You know, we have a version here called NATO, not North American Treaty uh, Organization or Alliance or whatever that is. But that's that's because of that ideology that there's a huge strength in numbers. Mm -hmm. So that's what we have to be looking at within our communities. And that's why we have to stay focused on unification because there's strength in those numbers. And that's, uh, again, I can't stress this enough, man. I can't stress this enough. The idea is to divide and conquer. It's always been that, and it's always going to be that if we don't change it. 
the people who created that ideology are not going to come back and change it for you. You have to now reverse that mentality. And the only way you reverse that mentality is to start looking at urinif urif uh, urinification. You see me? So I, I, I always hear this analogy of crabs in a bucket and uh, <laughs> My I'm goodness, you yeah, always trying to, all oh, crabs in a barrel, always trying to pull each other down. I'm not so much focused on that, you know, being bread. There has to, two things have to happen. Uh, don't pull each other down. Try and help each other out the barrel. And then when Uno get out of the barrel, go find the person who put all of you in the barrel and then deal with that. <laughs> yeah, you get me? So... Concern is who put the crabs in the barrel in the first place, my brethren. Yeah. And that you want to know and yes. deal with. Yes, yeah. I. For real, because I'm never just reading this up. <laughs> so last thing I know, I'm never just reading this up, for real. Find some way to turn yeah, over man. the barrel. Like, you know, come out. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yes, I. I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw the thing said. <laughs> yes, I. Yes, I, Victory. Yeah, man. Straight out of Houston, Texas. Original. Yeah, yeah, man. Big up yourself, man. Res the enough UK. love and respect for all the love. Yes, and this I. is a platform. The mindset is a big platform. I mean, no, you have no veteran. I come through still. But it's, again, it's been an honor and pleasure to have to have me on the shore and the Empress on the shore. And show us all the love. You know, so manners and respect to the whole family and the whole crew. Yes, I um you you more you more you talk to me about um Blackstar International Media because I, I know there I have some form of connection. Then we have a little bit of um a little bit of time, you know, management um give us yes. a little bit of time so we can you know, express ourselves without you know rush and things. Fan so fantastic. We 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 have up and we have we have we have about um fifteen to twenty minutes. Absolutely. Yes, yeah. I. So yeah, so, I was saying so, um yeah. Black Star International Media. Yeah. So about the Black Star. Well, from from. Black Star International Media, we, we, we set out on that journey back in 2015 when the Empress started her first, uh, started working on her music. And we wanted a platform, an independent platform, to release that music. And we wanted creative rights and control of our content. And you, uh, you, as, you know it's a big industry and it's a big... Um, and, and, and you have enough big record label and enough big media uh, uh, companies and them have big budget, you know, brethren. But starting on a very, very small scale and the sort of music we were doing and, and we continue to do is built along the lines of positivity, consciousness, upliftment, building up the community know that the mainstream doesn't support those ideas they you know you have some record labels that would rather release uh, tunes of me trying to shoot you in the face rather yes. than me trying to build uh, extend on and, and and bring my brethren up so we understand that this is not the easiest road but we're fine with that so if if 3000 people or 2000 people hear your music and only two or three people take it to heart, then the work is done, the brethren. Because not every, not every one the same, uh, take away the same message. So, but those who know will know, and those who hear will hear. You get me? And, and that's, the, that's the drive. It's got to be about that. It's got to be about building back our communities, taking back what taking back the creative control, taking back what goes into the communities, the impact. Music is a big, music have a big, big influence upon the mind of the youth, you know, brethren. Yes, I. And they take, they take in, if it's positive, they take it in. 
if it's negative, they also take that in. So you have to be very careful about what kind of music you put out there. But if you're looking at it from a corporate music uh, uh, label, then Monday is not thinking about that. I'm thinking about selling two, three, four million copies, going platinum. So they could care less about what the garbage music they're dumping in the community. You see me? So that is a fight that we have to keep fighting to make sure that we're getting the right content, the positive content, the uplifting content into the community, no, no matter how small. But all right, you, no you, 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 you are the thing now. You are the thing now. You are the thing now, my general. Can I watch you now? You see the virgin them who make those um type of um those type of songs. Remember them get paid for do them type of song there you now. Zin and a lot of yes. and a lot of artists today they are money driven. So when them 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 go and get X amount of money for sing certain and certain songs. Zin and they probably they probably sign certain contract where they have to make certain amount of 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 of, of record or a certain amount of album. And these things they have to go, they have to release whether they like it or not. Zin. So Yeah man. Yeah. Enough of these virgin are money driven. Money driven. You know what I mean? I yeah, can't I mean, I say enough I, I, you have money, you know, enough you, you know what I mean, because they are do your work and your thing. Zin, but at the same yeah. time, enough 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 ones see enough one acknowledge and they know that what they're doing is wrong but at the same time they're still doing it because of the money driven yeah yeah that's a sad that's a sad commentary it's a sad commentary but that's real what you just said right now is real and in some cases you know man they have a right they have producers and writers who write the songs so you they just want your voice they want your style on the music they get, they hand you the song and say this go go perform this in the in the in the in the in the studio. This is how we want it. This is what we want you to say. This is the effect that we need in this music. And we'll pay you five hundred, a million dollars, two hundred dollars, or two thousand or two hundred thousand dollars, whatever the dollars is. And as you mentioned, that is a big that's a big bait for the mute there. And when you're People are putting that kind of money in front of you. You're not thinking about the detrimental effects of, of the lyrics of the music and what it has and what it does back in your community. And that that is all by design, my brother. So that is all by design. So it has to be a it has to be consciousness. Unfortunately, I don't know that I have an answer for that. But hmm. what I do know is it's left to it's left to the little people like us, you know, to keep moving forward, to keep that platform, platforms like the mindset, to be the, con to be the conscience of society, to be the conscience of our communities, to always draw them back to what's right, you see me, and what's good and what's whole and what's pleasant for a family. Because I saw, that's how you build a nation, you know, Mark. That's how you build a nation. It starts with the individual, and with the individual comes the family, and with the family comes the community, and with the community comes the nation. So we have to go back to our roots, man, and, and build things back up in, in spite, in spite of the detractors and in spite of what, what is being done at a commercial level and, and build all the things that you see that you don't like in, in the community today the disrespect for disrespect for men you know the disrespect for who we are the killing the stealing the robbing the, the the celebration of that kind of lifestyle we have to stand against them things brethren so yes sir. that's why we do what we do that's why we love the mindset Yes, I. Yes, I. Mindset program, man. Yeah, man. We give thanks. We give thanks. Wow. I mean, I tell you. I hope they are, hey, I hope they are them read really the turn up loud wherever they are them are listening from, you know. All the people in mean, the Alan. I hope you think that us depend on the low, you know. I hope it turn up loud. 
zin cause them vibration yeah, and frequency zin you know beaming and yeah, man, reaching everything vibing high <laughs> yes yes i, yes, I. absolutely yeah, we give we give thanks we give thanks we give thanks to having the hype on the program so that's the i know you know what i mean i, I know yeah, man, you know honor, ja, honor, honor and pleasure yeah ja, you know ja the greatest you know you know all things you know you know all things ja is the greatest yeah we give thanks yeah man the, the pl- pleasure and the honor is all ours i just stars absolutely yeah man i must yeah, say appreciate. um give thanks to management and staff you know for even allow us to the time, you know. Yeah, I'm like great. I'm like live radio. Big up on yourself. Fantastic job, man. Keep it up, and we're always here to support. Yes, I. Yes, I. Good thing when I do, it's providing a good, valuable content and platform to the community. So for that, man, big up yourself. Always. Don't take what you're doing lightly. There's a serious thing you deal with. Serious thing that impacts lives, young lives, and, 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 and all sorts of lives. You get me? Yes, I. Yeah, man. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Why? Why? Well, we give thanks that, um, you know, we give thanks that job we are. You know, I do what we can, you know. Yeah, man, we give thanks. We're grateful. We're grateful for sitting in the seat here. Yeah. And there, um, you know, <laughs> in front of the microphone. And can reason with the people. Them. So that's it. Yeah. We love it. Trust me. We love it. And we love when we can um, impact. You know, we love when we can impact. And even if it's just one. So that's it, yeah, you know. So yes, we, give, we give thanks, to brother. Absolutely. Absolutely. We give thanks, to, you know, we yeah, humble by the high words, you know. So that's it, yeah, you know, even though. No. No. Yeah man. Yeah man. We we Absolutely. yeah, we're excited. We're excited. We are talking about when we hear them type of words. Yeah. We feel good, of course. Yeah man. We feel we're nice. We have to do <laughs> Yeah man. We, me, I am I'm, I'm a run the business kind of guy. I like to sit in the back row and make sure things is running. So I'm not really a public kind of person. And um my and the Empress was uh making fun of me. I was coming on the show. <laughs> well, yeah, I come you know, out of retirement, we, we, innit? So, <laughs> you know, sir. <laughs> I, uh, I, like, I'm not an artist, man. You're the artist, Empress Nelly. So, big up yourself still. But it would be, uh, um, it would be absolutely fantastic to get back on the show again once we uh, drop that Empress Nelly EP. You know, life happened on by the end of November. But, um, you know, certain un- unforeseeable circumstances happened, and now we have to replan and readjust our, our um, release date. So that we are dealing with right now, but it's coming. So on a beer with us, Yes, it's going to be some good, good content, some up, something that can nourish the soul. You get me? So let's see. I saw... They I they I they I they I come out of record they I come out of retirement for the two recording. Yeah man, we have one more collabo and then I'm going back in retirement again. <laughs> All right, so we are look forward we are look forward to that. You know what I mean? We are look forward to that. So that is coming out in twenty nineteen, right? Yes, sir. Absolutely. We'll have that out for the masses in twenty nineteen. Yes, yes. Sir. and where the people them, where all the people them can link up the item, you know, where the people them can, where where, where are the, 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 you know, the, the most um reliable sources yeah, them can cool. contact the item. Absolutely. So it depends on your preference. You can find us on Twitter, or you can find us on Facebook. We're very active on Facebook, or you can find us on www.empressnellymusic.com, or www.blackstarintmedia.com or you can also find us on uh, LinkedIn. So, yeah, man, anywhere you want it, you can have it. Yeah, man, yes, sir. We, we reach out. We're very, we try to be very good and very responsive. So, yeah, man, um, yeah, man, so give us a shout. Yeah, man, yes, I, yes, people. 
me I tell her now. Yes, I victory. Yeah, man, me I tell her vibration. We give thanks to the high energy, you know. And yeah, continue blazing the fire, Celestia, you know. And me I tell her, we are look forward, really Absolutely. looking forward to um the next the next song. You know, we're looking forward to that. Yeah. Celestia, you know. Yeah, Absolutely. You know? Absolutely, and, and maybe the next time uh, it could be the Empress and I on the show together this time. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, we could do something like yeah. that. It's possible. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's possible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. All things are possible, you know. This, yeah, and, you know, this is Amlock Live Radio, you know, so this is God Radio, you know, so everything possible with God. You know what I mean? Nothing is impossible when it comes to Amlock Live Radio. Yeah, man. You know, so uh, as I'm saying, absolutely. Where well, there's a will, there's def- there's most definitely a way. Yeah, you just have to have the will and the mindset to go accomplish that. Yes. And burn down, burn down every barrier in front of you, and move, move forward. You know, and say forward ever, backward never. That's the so know. quit. Yeah, man, quit looking in the, in the rear view mirror, and let those things in in the back be in the back. Look forward. So we move. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. So, yeah, we give thanks. Yes, my brothers and sisters. Yeah, we kind of run over a whole per time, but we give thanks. Um, You know, nonetheless, we give thanks to all the people who will log on from all over the world. We can see some people in, a, in a Ghana, in a Kenya, South Africa, uh, Ethiopia. Uh, with that Tanzania, uh, Spain, yeah, man. Germany, Give thanks, man. Enough love, yeah, man. UK, Enough love to all the family out there, yes, I, yeah, man. Manners and respect to the island. Give thanks, you know. Give thanks. I victory. It's been a great honor yes. if you have the hype on the program. Um, you know, just continue Thank doing, you for doing what the item doing. You know, what I mean, the item is doing um, a very yeah. Lovely job, you know what I mean? I love um I love uh I, I love the you know the strategic you know the strategy the, the, the yeah the the strategy. <laughs> yes. Yeah yeah I, I like Abs- that. absolutely yeah yeah man it's, it's effective Enough love and respect I just ask yeah man yeah. thanks yes I yes I man and respect Brothers and sisters the item can catch me as a next week same time next strong next time who we have on the program. I don't know who we have yet on the program, but I know we have someone on the program. But, you know, just keep up to date with um, the social media. You know what I mean? Keep up to date. I just start um, on all of the social platforms. Anywhere you type in, I just start. You're going you're gonna to get something. Something will be there. Keep the item up to date with what I want. The next Thursday, you know, it's boxing. Well, boxing next Wednesday, our boxing day, them say. So we are going yeah, to there with with gloves and thumb down some, you know what I mean? So all right. So we're there next next Wednesday, Zane. Yeah, man. So it's more love and strength to the item. You know, management and staff large up the item self. I victory, Empress Nelly, the whole yeah. family, Houston, Texas, Zane. Yes, sir. Straight to the UK. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Globally. Yeah, man, may I move with that one here, you know? We are, we are, may I go play one more um, Empress Nelly? You don't know the thing set. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yes, my brothers and sisters, thank you very much. It's been a great honor having the item on board. Move, we are moving now, Zane. Honors and manners. Catch we on... Um, Flaming Monday, Zane. And I don't understand how life could be the way it is today. I don't understand. Flaming Monday, we're there again. Could be the way it is today. Let me say a Christmas Eve. Understand how life could be. Well, it's gonna be Flaming Monday, alright? I don't understand. I don't understand. So anything on Eve, man, I get born out that day, there, alright? How we always fight to one another. And after that day they too. We are gonna this is Amlock Rive Radio Mindset Program. I just time your host. Move your move. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's been a great honor. 
Something different about our program here today, you know? Bring us all together. Yes, I. Together. Life can be easy, but we need to play. Sounds of Empress Nelly. It's time to come together and support. Track title, Don't Understand. Uh, there is a way. So much things are going on, boy, we don't understand, I tell you. So much bloodshed. I don't understand. Oh, why we always fight to one another. Don't know why we have so much criminals. How we are always going. 